Hello, what's up everyone? This is Danny for dashauto.com back at it again. Today we will be installing a hardwire kit for the Vilfo A129 into the Mercedes C-Class. The fuse box for mini cars is located beside the steering wheel, stuff like that. But for the Mercedes C-Class, it's actually located in the back of the trunk right here. Pull it open. And voila, this is where it is. In this case, we will be using a Powermagic Pro, but the Viofo A129 actually comes with its own hardware kit, so you really don't need it. So what you first need to do is take the circuit tester. And as you can see, in the back of the Mercedes right here, it already has a factory ground right here, so we will just attach it. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna attach it like this. So what we're gonna do now is test for one constant, which is gonna light up even if the car is off, and one accessory, which will only light up when the car is turned on. This is how you test it. Aim for the little metal pin right here. Oh, there we go. I think we found our constant right here. Yep. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is find a fuse that is not lighting up and ask my assistant behind the camera to go start the car. So if everything works out, it should light up. When the car starts, this should light up. Yep, it's lighting up. Turn it back off. Okay, there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, we have just found the accessory. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing now is setting up the harness kit to connect to the fuse. As you can see, we're gonna crimp down the connectors right here. Um, if you got this kit on dashauto.com, there's also gonna be these rubber sleeves that you can slide down to make it easier. So what you do now is with the fuse, there is also a rubber sleeve on this one. What you want to do is connect it like this to the harness kit. And then um, you're gonna smoothen it. We'll do the same with the other one. Connect and slide. Look at that. After you're done this part, what you're gonna do is grab these two little blue guys right here. Now we're gonna be sliding this into their slot, the part that is closest to the wire. It'll take a little bit of a force, so if it's not smooth, don't worry. Oh, there. As you can see, first one is done. Now we're going to do the second one. Yeah, you got to really jam it in. It's not like a USB. Or it is, depending on what USB you have. Just be careful of you guys' fingers when you do this. There. Now both of them are in. Now that this part is finished. Uh, remember these guys over here, the fuse? Well, make sure you still remember which one is the constant and which one is the accessory. Um, for us, 20 was the constant, five is the accessory. If you guys look at the yellow wire, it says battery plus. That means that this is the constant. So if you remember from earlier, the constant for us is number 20 right here. Yeah, it's 20 right here. So what you do is that you're gonna take out the entire fuse. See this right here? And now what you wanna do is stick it into the bottom. Uh, so, let's see, it's parallel to the one that we just stuck in. There we go, so it looks like this now. And what you're gonna do now is take this entire kit, you're gonna take the entire kit now and stick it back into the fuse box. Like that. With that one done, we're gonna move on to the second one, the red wire, ACC Plus. That is the accessory, obviously. So if you remember, the accessory was right here. We're gonna take that out. Plug it in. Now it's in. Plug it back into the fuse box. This way. Look at how perfect. Yep, once you hear that click, that's all that's good. Hey guys, 
We tried to get the footage earlier, but um, next part, unfortunately, it was way too dark to get, so I'm gonna have to explain it. I'll put the image over. So what we're gonna do now is see the black part of the harness wire now? Well, what you're gonna do now is take this, we did this earlier, we're gonna loosen this bolt right here. You guys can see this bolt right here. We're gonna loosen it, and then we're gonna tie the spade connector behind it. And then after that, we're gonna tighten it back down. Unfortunately for us, the metal connector for the Mercedes is really deep and it's really hard to get the camera in there so we just showed you another one instead. If you have any questions, leave it down below and we will answer right away. And now we're on to the final step. You're gonna find the Power Magic Pro out of your bag and you see where the yellow, the red, the black wires connect to, where everything we've worked towards will connect to the Power Magic Pro. And There we go. And now all you need to do is find the cigarette adapter on your dash cam, plug it into here, and you're good to go.